Welcome to Countout. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at the first in, first out of FIFO using the periodic system. In our previous lesson, we looked at the same accounting inventory system, the first in, first out, but we looked at it using the perpetual system. So that one is more detailed. What's the difference? The perpetual system records the movement of inventory continuously, but the periodic system uses records the movement of inventory at specific periods, hence the name periodic. So it only records inventory at specific periods. And in the example we're going to look at, we're recording inventory at the end of the month. So the periodic system, using the periodic system to calculate the value of inventory is easier than using the perpetual system because perpetual, you have to record it after every movement of inventory. But here we are only recorded, recording it at the end of the period. So if you'd like to know both ways, you can also check out the other lesson. I'll leave the link in the description below on how to do it using the perpetual inventory system, uh, using the perpetual inventory system. But here we are going to use the periodic inventory system. So what is the first in, first out? F FIFO is an inventory costing method that is based upon the assumption that inventory or materials purchased are sold or used in the same order in which they are received. So first in, first out. In essence, what you are saying here is that the first inventory to come in must be the first inventory to go out. The, the first inventory that you bought or we brought in must be the first one that we get rid of. And that is a very uh, popular system that is used. And you can think of it like uh, when you buy milk or when a, when a grocery store buys milk for selling, it obviously wants to sell the oldest milk first. The one which came in first must go out first because that's the first one to expire, if we are to say it that way. So let's take a look at this example over here. Very easy method using the periodic inventory system. We are told that the following information was extracted from the books of Eldoret Furnishers on 30th of November 2019. The company uses FIFO to value inventory, calculate the value of closing stock. So we're going to use the periodic inventory system to do so. And your question should indicate whether you're using periodic or perpetual. But here we are going to use the periodic, even though uh, it didn't indicate here in the question. Our lesson is on the periodic inventory system. So what do we do? Well, let's take a look at this. From the 1st of November to the 30th of November, we had some movements in inventory. We had opening inventory of 5,000, and they told us how much we bought that inventory for, 20 rand. We had, on the 15th, purchases of 20,000 units at 21 rand. On the 20th, purchases of 2,000 units at 22 rand. And we are told on the 30th that sales in November were 24,000 units. Now, obviously, we don't care about the selling price. We, When you're doing FIFO or when you're doing weighted average or when you're doing LIFO, we only care about how much the value of inventory is or how much we bought it for. So sales in November was 24,000 units. Now, using FIFO, we know that if we sold 24,000 units, we, which, one would, which one did we sell first? Well, we sold the first one, which we had in stock first. That's the name, first in, first out. That was the first one in, the 5,000 units. So let's do that. So if you sold 24,000 units, what we're trying to figure out is how much is left because they asked us to calculate the value of closing stock. So we want to see the value of how much stock we have in store. So we sold 24,000 units. So we took out from the 5,000 first. So let's do that. 24,000 minus 5,000, 19,000 left to sell because we sold 24,000 units. So if we take out the 5,000, the 19,000 still left to sell. So let's take out the 5,000. It's all gone. And then we come to the 15th. Since we have 19,000 left that were that needed to be to have been sold, we where do we take it? We take it from the next batch, from the earliest batch that we have, the first in that we have. Well, the 5,000, as you can see, it's gone. So the next one, which, is, which was the first one in, is the 20,000. So we take out the 19,000 from the 20,000. So 20,000 minus 19,000, we have a balance left here of 1,000. So that's the balance that's left in stock. So I hope you can see the progress here, how we do this one here. 24,000 units sold. We take out from the first one in and we took out the first 5,000. And then we take out 19,000, which is remaining to be sold from the 20,000. And then what are we left? We are left with 1,000 units in this batch over here. 1,000 units at 21 rand. And we have sold all the inventory that we needed to have sold. We needed to have sold 24,000 units. And we know if they sold 24,000 units, they took the oldest ones first to sell and then what we want is the value of closing stock so how many how much inventory are we left with well from the 20,000 batch we are left with 1,000 units at 21 rand and 2,000 units at 22 rand and that is now that we can use to calculate the value of closing stock so 1,000 
at 21 Ren gives us a value of 21,000 Ren. And then we are also left to 2,000 at 22 Ren, which it gives us a value of 44,000 Ren. Now, these two are the value of closing stock or the value of closing inventory. So if we add the two together, the total value of closing stock is 65,000 Ren. So you can see how easy it is using the periodic system. You just know that you have to sell the earliest one which came in first. Now others may do the calculations differently, but this is how I like to do it for you to see how we account for each one. So we have the value of closing stock of 65,000 Rand. If, and that's what the question asked us to do and we are done with that one. Now, just for fun's sake, what if they ask you what is the value of cost of sales or what is the cost of sales? Well, the cost of sales, remember we sold the 5,000. So you have to calculate the cost of all the inventory that we sold. So it's the 5,000 at 20 Rand because we sold that one. And then 19,000, which you took out from here at 21 Rand. And it gives us 5,000 at 20 Rand plus 19,000 at 21 Rand. It gives us the closing, the cost of sales of 499,000 Rand. That is the cost of sales if you're asked. And this is, these are the popular questions. The main one is the value of closing stock. And the other one you may be asked is the cost of sales. And that is how you do the calculation for that one. So I have a second example over here. Here we have the following information, same, uh, same company, Eldred Furnishers on the 30th of November. The company uses five photo value inventory calculate the value of closing stock. Now, what I want you to do here is to pause and try and do this question yourself and see if you'll get it correctly. Engage yourself if you understand from the previous example. If you don't get it correctly, you can go back and rewind on the video and try and watch it again and go through it in detail. So I hope you'll pause here and then you'll do it yourself before you continue where we see how I do the solution. Okay, I hope you have done it on your own. So let's start with this one. We are told that we have opening inventory, we have purchases, we have sales on the 17th, and then we have more purchases, and then we have sales on the 24th. So now we are asked to calculate the value of closing stock. Now we do the same thing first of all. How much did we sell in the month? Well, we sold 15,000 on the 17th and 21,000 on the 24th. So you can do the sales on the 15th first and then do the sales on the 21 using the same method we did previously. Or you can add the two together and you'll see, I will do that now. So I'm going to take the sales of 15,000 plus the one of 21,000 to see how much I sold in total. And then I go and I see where if I sold to, if I sold all those inventory, where, which one did I sell first? I sold the 11,000 first. So 15,000 plus 21,000, which are the sales. I minus the opening inventory or the earliest inventory we had in stock. And we have 25,000 left to sell. Remember, we sold this to 15,000 plus 21,000, which is 36,000. Minus the 11,000, which is of opening inventory. We still have 25,000 left to sell. So we have taken out from the 11,000 completely. How much is left to sell? 25,000 units. Where are we going to take that 25,000 units? Well, we're going to take it from the earliest available batch. Well, the 11,000 is gone. The earliest available batch is the purchases of 29,000 rand. So we left to sell the 25,000 units. So we're going to say 29,000 minus the 25,000 units which we, we needed to sell. And we have 4,000 balance uh, in stock. So 4,000 is left from this 29,000. So we cancelled 29,000 and we put the 4,000 which is left in stock. And we have sold all the inventory that we needed to sell. And that is how you do a question like this. You make sure you take the earliest one and then you take the next batch and then you take the next batch until you are done selling the inventory that you needed to sell. And then you see what you are left with. So what are we left with here? We are left with 4,000 units from the 29,000 at 11 Rand. And we are also left with 7,000 units at 12 Rand because we didn't touch this one. The sales, we have already dealt with that one. We have sold all that we needed to sell. So let's take this one, 4,000 at 11 Rand gives us a value of 44,000 rand just multiply the two and then 7,000 times 12 rand it gives us, it gives you a value of 84,000 units now they asked us to calculate the value of closing stock so we just add the two together and gives us a total value of 128,000 rand i hope you attempted the question yourself and you're able to get the same answer that i got over here now let's do the cost of sales again let's say you are asked to do the cost of sales you can pause here again try and do the cost of sales and then come back and compare your answer to mine okay so here's how we do the cost of sales well we sold the 11,000 at 10 rand and so that's the first one and then from the 29,000 how much did we take well we took the 25,000 as you can see down here so we took 24 25,000 at 11 rand so 
it's 11,010 rand plus 25,011 rand and it gives us a cost of sales of 385,000 rand. I hope this lesson has made sense and you're able to understand the progress of doing the first in first out using the periodic method. Now, if you'd like to understand the perpetual inventory system and you have not checked out that lesson, you can click on the link on the top right of the screen and you'll also find the link in the description below. Otherwise, if you have gained value from this lesson, if you have learned something new, please subscribe to our channel, like this video and share it to those you think it might help. Till next time. Cheers.